G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm going to do a nice big tray today. Um, I've just put that there, that's my copyright, just so it can focus because it was going in and out and in and out, couldn't focus on the white background, but hopefully it will now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a big tray. So the first thing I did was I put a piece of paper down. It's, it's four A4 stuck together and I put it down there and I kind of pushed it into the edges and then with a the pencil I went around and then I could cut that out because I need my template. I'll just move that out of the way. I'll show you why. Because I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to use this lace that I bought. Um, it looks like leaves. Now it came in panels. That was one, two, three, four. Uh, I'll show you. I've got some left. So it just came like that in pieces. And, and what I did was to join them, I cut along here and along in there and in there. And then I could actually, I actually stitched them together so that they wouldn't move because I thought, well, if they start floating around in the resin, that's not going to be good. So you can see where they've overlapped there. It's a little bit darker. I don't think that matters. I think it's better than, um, you know, them shifting apart. So that's why I have got my little template there. And it just fits. Now, I can't really mark on it with a pencil because it's not going to work. So... Where did I put my scissors? Oh, I'll put them back again. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to basically cut. I'm going to have to hold the paper in place as best I can. And just cut around it. Alright. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll do it and then I'll come back to you because you, it's boring. You don't want to watch me do that. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I am back and you can see it fits in there lovely. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going. it's going to be very plain, well I shouldn't say plain, simple? <laughs> mm, maybe not. Um, I guess plain and simple, just clear resin, but it's going to have this um, sort of crushed, I can't get the tape off now <laughs> with my gloves on. Oh. I'm going to put some of these around the outside, these big acrylic diamond type things around the outside and I'm also going to use some of the mirror glass as well. So I'm going to do that along the outside um, just for some texture and some bling. I thought that would look pretty and uh, yeah, hopefully it, it'll, it'll work. So I've made up my resin, um, I've got 480 grams of mixed resin. This uh, mould I made myself, it's 50 centimetres on the inside by 35 centimetres. It's one centimetre deep and it has got my rock edges on the inside. You might have seen me do my leaf tray with this one, so I'm going to go again with it, but this time um, after a few hours, I'm going to bend it over maybe something like this. I haven't decided yet if I want to do like a long platter. I'm going to fold it, sort of drape it over the edge. Or whether I want to use something like this bowl and make it like deeper. So I haven't decided yet, but I guess I've got three hours to think about it while my resin hardens. Now I'm just going to pop the bub bubbles that are sitting on top there because this is a clear platter, maybe a fruit bowl, something like that. I don't know, something shallow. I really like the shallow ones. Um, yeah, I don't want bubbles showing in it, you know. So here we go. Pour that in. And uh, yeah, the, the actual mold holds about 900 grams of mixed resin. So I only wanted about half. But I've gone a, a little bit over half because half would be about 450 grams and I'm going to go I've got 480 here just because it was easy to mix I did 330 grams of A and 150 grams of B of my platinum ultra clear 
I find it a pretty easy resin to work with because it's so thin it has good bubble release whereas some of the other resins that are a bit thicker it's really difficult to get the bubbles out you know and you don't want to torch too much because you don't want to destroy your molds so yeah it's, it can be a bit tricky whoops I've dropped a piece of glitter in there probably when I was holding my platter above get out get out get out <gasps> oh, I'll just chase you around all right I'll get a oh did I get him I did have him and then I dropped him okay got him all right now I'm not going to scrape the inside of of the um, jug only because there might still be some um, resin that's not totally totally mixed on the inside of that um, but I will clean it up with a piece of paper towel and I can use it again radio now I see some bubbles so let's give them a little bit of a pop and as I'm working the bubbles hopefully will still come to the surface and then I will torch periodically during the the video just to pop extra bubbles that may come up and I will have to also um, push down any lace that wants to creep up Get rid of that bit of tape because I can see that there's a little bit floating there so I'm just going to give it all a push down and a little bit floating here hopefully it won't float too much See that when I'm pushing it down like that, there's some bubbles that are coming up from the bottom. So I'll give it a bit of a, a push all the way down. See, there's some more bubbles. Might uh, do this off camera a little bit just to, I mean, it, not many bubbles are going to stay under it because it's such a, holy piece you know there's got lots of holes in it so the bubbles aren't exactly going to get trapped but there certainly have been some coming up so uh, I think I'll just sort of do that every now and then to push it down and then pop those bubbles that have come up so I will have to do that a few times no doubt so don't want bubbles I can see there where it's kind of lifting a little bit see the only way you can do this by like having it sit down flat and not lift is to do one coat wait and then do a top coat you know that way you're not going to get anything sticking out the top but because I want to shape this I can't wait for the first layer to set so I'm just going to have to make the best of it rightio um, I think I'll just take my gloves off for a minute while I put the the crystals and things in because it's too hard to work with gloves sometimes but I will be careful so here we go um, what will I do first I might put the, the glass on first now sometimes I actually sieve it to get the um, the dust out I think I'll do that let me just put you on pause for a minute I'm gonna get my sieve and I'll show you what I mean so I've got a bowl I've got a sieve. I'll have to be careful that I don't drop anything in there. So just pour some in. Not sure how much I'm going to need. And then just carefully sieve that. And that will drop all the tiny pieces and all the dust through. I'm just doing it really low because I don't want anything to fly into my work. And then if you see something that doesn't belong in there you can easily pick it out as well okay now move that see all that on the bottom there all those little tiny bits and all that like dust so I'll just empty that and then I'm going to pour this back into there and then that's ready to go so I'll put that off to the side um, I think as I displace some of this resin by adding glass and crystals, um, the resin in the center will get thicker. 
Um, hang on, I need a spoon, I need a spoon. There we go. Got a little plastic spoon. All right, so here we go. Just gonna pour some of that along the, whoa, along the outside, like so. Get back in. And then I'll put my bigger crystals sort of on top. Try not to drop any in the center. They're just for the outside. <laughs> in there. Just trying to get as close to the outside as I can. It doesn't I don't mind if some of them sort of float to the, the center a little bit. It's you know it's a big platter. It can I don't mind if they want to move a little bit. And just because I've mixed you know I've sieved all that doesn't mean that I have to use it all but I just want a nice even little coating and then I think with the bigger crystals I'm going to have to really push them down into the resin below the glass there's a few areas here that don't have as much probably will use all this actually that was that was well planned that amount so this is um, mirror glass. I just buy it on eBay. But, um, I'm sure you can get it lots of different places. There we go. All done. That was easy. And I'll just keep that there for next time I want to use uh, glass again. Push all those little bits in. All right, that's looking amazing already. Now, um, my crystals. And I'm just going to kind of place them in. This is going to take me a little while, so I'll do a bit and then I'll probably put you on fast forward. I do need to like push them down because I need them to actually be stuck in there and I'm not going to make them too too exact some can be further in some can be further out um, yeah just so that I've got a line of them whoops all the way around I'll try and get them on top I do want them to be on the edge try and get them on the top of that glass all right so I'm going to finish that I'll put you on fast forward though so that you can see. I'll be right back. That is done. So let's go down and just have a little look. And as I said, I will come back every five or ten minutes and just pop any bubbles. There's a couple there. See, they come to the surface. So I put my crushed glass around, as you saw, and I put the bigger crystals on top. I've pushed everything down just gently. So that hopefully it's all got contact with the resin below. And um, yeah, I, I hope it's going to be pretty. Like I said, just delicate. I've been doing a thing with leaves lately, haven't I? I've, did, I've done this my third one with leaves. Well, leaf designs anyway. So yeah, they're, they're really pretty though. I do enjoy doing them. So there we go. Um, and I'll come back in a few hours and I'll most likely drape it over that. I've got this table over here ready to go. It's just got a piece of plastic on it. 
and uh, when I take that out I'm going to peel it out I'm going to put it straight down onto the piece of plastic and then I can pick the whole plastic up and move it over and drape it over whatever I decide to drape it on which I haven't decided yet so anyway there it is um, I'll see you in a few hours I'll be checking on it every now and then anyway all right see you then right so I'm back it's been um, how long has it been I poured the resin at 10 30 this morning and now it's three o'clock so 10 30 11 30 12 30 1 30 2 30 four and a half hours it's been now i tried loosening a little bit here which is coming off easily over here it's kind of a bit sticky still so i'm not sure what's going on there i'll just have to pull it apart you know just slowly so i'm going to loosen it all the way around there might be little bits like that that i'll have to maybe trim off so it looks a bit sticky there on the edge. I don't know why. It's weird. But I don't want to leave it any longer, otherwise it's going to be too difficult to mould over my bowl. Okay, I think that's that's got it. So I can touch it. Alright. Now, um, I'm going to put it straight onto my piece of plastic as I told you before and then I'll see I'll try both containers or bowls and, and see which one's going to look better okay mm. I don't know if it's ready yet because when I just bent that it made like a ripple effect I bent it that way. Anyway, I need to get it out. I'm going to put some gloves on uh, because it's not cured yet and it's best not to touch resin that's not cured yet. So I'm just going to get it out as best I can and put it over here on this plastic. Like so. Okay, now I don't know if you can still see all of that. I'll move this out of the way. Um, I'll put you over there for a minute. Actually, I'll just put him back in his container. Like so. All right. Now that's stuck on there, which is good. Now I'm going to bring it over here. And I'll move the tripod as well so you can see. Oh, there we go. Move you like that. I'm just going to zoom you in just one sec. Okay. Now, I don't understand why. Because I've moved that now, it's got like a little ripply effect on the, on the top. I guess because it's been moved noticed that before have you guys noticed that on on yours on the top there anyway now um so this is the two options this bowl or this platter and because i want the crystals because they're raised i want them on the outside i'm going to lay it over so um, let's try this, try the platter first and we'll see if it's going to actually do much. It's pretty much the same size really so it's not going to do a lot I guess. So that's what it would look like. Mm, no, not digging it. All right, move that one out of the way. <laughs> Let's try this one. Mm. 
and you can see it's still nice and soft it's bending nicely let's move that a bit towards me more all right let's go check that you're in frame yes oh it's looking pretty all right now this is touching the the mat and this isn't so i need to pull it over a little bit more And then I guess I just need to decide, you know, how I want to, to mould it, really. And try not to touch the top too much. I might just let it fall naturally and do its own thing, really. I think this one's going to have to have something up under here, though. Um, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go and grab something just to pop under there. I don't really want that touching. I might pull it across this way and then lift this up a little bit more. Just because I don't want it kind of sitting on the on the bench there because it's going to get a, a flat bottom. Alright, so I'm going to get something to go under here. Mm, what can I use? What can I use? Oh, that's too high. Yep, that's too high. Oops, I've got all these silicon cups. What about that? What about that if it goes under there? Is that about the right height? Um, so now this side's touching the bottom and this isn't so it's going to move it over a little bit more so I'm still going to get that long sort of um, bowl because you know it's the the um, mold was a long shape so it's going to be that shape as well so that can stay like that Pop that under there, I think. And this one can go on the other side just to match like that. I like how it's still really quite soft and it's just sort of dropping on its own where it wants to, to drop. I, I do like that. Now this is touching there. This I think is wider than over here so I think this needs to have something under here I'm gonna get something to pop under there what about this this works and make sure you put it under your plastic okay so that you're not leaving any marks so it's not going to stick we have a look at it from this side try to make them look too symmetrical and I shouldn't but I can't not do it <laughs> oh my gosh maybe I should just let that fall put that under there <laughs> doot doot Korea's here they always come at the wrong time. Does that man have to go out because he's tooted? Um, I'm just going to bend this a bit. Okay. Hmm. See, now I, I don't know because this side has dropped straight down. I think maybe that side has to drop straight down as well about like that if that one drops straight down I don't know if he's waiting for me maybe I should go and have a look all right better go and have a look hang on one sec don't go anywhere it 
was a big box of puppy pedal pads. <laughs> That'll keep me going for a while. I am using more now because I've got puppies at the moment. Let's see if we can push that in a bit there. See, I'm leaving fingerprints on it. I don't know why. Okay, that one can go there. can just go in like that I think yeah I'll try and try not to make it symmetrical but I do struggle with that no I'm just not sure if this one is higher than that one I have a feeling it might be a bit higher than that. But it's hard to know. Alrighty, I'm just going to have a little play. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. It's wider here than it is here for some reason. Alright, I'm going to put you on pause while I have a little think about this. Work out what I want to do. So I don't bore you with my thoughts. Right, so I decided to take that um, silicon cup out. I just felt that maybe it was too high. So what I've got now is basically just that flat bit there and then we come down on an angle here and then on the opposite side we come down on an angle there as well. So I've just got little, little um, mica powder bottles under a few areas so yeah I'm, I'm happy with the shape I just don't understand why um, can you see I know it looks a bit odd because there's a red bowl underneath but can you see the little ripples there So see, see those ripples there? So that's the outside. I mean, it's not going, I mean, it's, it's zoomed in now, so I doubt you're very much going to see it. But I'm just wondering why that is. is. Is that because, you know, I've moved it too early? But, um, look, I mean, I've moved things even earlier, you know, to get that like a drip type of effect. So I'm not sure why it's doing that but look once it's once it's out of the plastic and it's sitting on its own with that leaf effect you're not even going to see it and I'm just wondering why does anyone know why <laughs> it's like that all right um, now I'm going to leave it like this I'm not going to touch it and I'm going to come back tomorrow and um, we'll do the unmolding so to speak so it's going to be a really big bowl isn't it be lovely for fruit maybe all right I'll see you in the morning. Hey everyone, I'm back. And I'm looking forward to unmolding, so to speak. Not that there's a mold, but you know what I mean. Right, let's get these little bottles out. Looks really weird with the red underneath, doesn't it? <laughs> I know. Let's get these out of the way. And where's the other ones? There. Another rainy day. We're in the, well, I guess we're in the wet season here in Queensland, Australia. So hot, wet, muggy, 
high humidity. <laughs> it's not pleasant. At least I've got air conditioning in my studio. So I can come in here and get away from everything outside. <laughs> Rightio. Let's, oh, I've missed a bottle. There we go. It's nice and set. Let's take that bowl away. Look at that. Doesn't that look better already? And looks as if the plastic just wants to fall off on its own, hey? So let's just take that plastic out. Look, it comes out so easily. And there it is. There it is. Let's have a look. Yay. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. Look at that. Now I just have to <clears throat> decide if it was a good idea putting the crystals on the on the other side because there they are there on the back <laughs> on the underside. Oh, maybe it was better to do it the other way and have the crystals on the top. Would that have been better? Because then you can see it from the top. But then when you're looking at it this way from the side, you've got the crystals there. Let's have a look at them, hey? I hope it's going to pick them up. It's a bit difficult on a camera you now to pick things like that up, but hopefully. Oops, a mosquito just landed on me. I don't know. What do you think, you guys? Do you think I should have, when I took, to that, took it out of the mold, flipped it the other way so that the crystals were sitting on the top, on the inside here? I don't know. I love the shape though. I'm really happy with the way that went. So happy. It's only a tiny little bit of like overflow there. It's nice and smooth along the edges there. No sharp pieces. Love it. Do you love the lace? So pretty. Oh, love it. All right. Um, I'll find a, a bit of sunshine today to hopefully take a photo of it for you out in the sunshine. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. And um, I'll try this again, maybe not with the same lace because you don't want to see the same thing twice. But um, flip it the other way and see what it looks like with the crystals on the, the top. Because that's where you can see it mostly, can't you? Although if you're putting food and things in there, it's nicer to have a smooth interior, isn't it? I don't know. Let me know what you think, whether you like the crystals on the, on the underside here or whether I should have flipped it the other way so the crystals were on the top. So anyway, let me know in the description. Um, righto, I'll leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you for the next pour, whether it be resin or acrylic. See you soon. Bye for now.